Shea 45 in the morning. It's Angela Yee. 50's here. Yeah. <laughs> Early, Early in, in the, the morning. morning. <laughs> so let's talk about Bingham Smurf. Because now I see he's getting down with, with Rick Ross. What was your first reaction when you saw the Bingham Smurf? Which well, I don't even know how relevant he is right now. But what was your reaction when you saw that? Well, I wasn't surprised. You know, I, I got letters. I got like three letters that he sent to the office where he was, he had turned Muslim mm -hmm. while incarcerated and just wanted to make good, you know, in the actual situation. And it, it's when a person, he's in, um, he got deported. So he's not even in the United States. So the opportunity for you to even mention him is great. Yeah. Him. You know what I mean? <laughs> so while he's out of, out of the country and, and he saw an opportunity to try and say something. You see, now he raps. He's trying to rap. Yeah, I noticed he had like an album or something. <laughs> like I know somebody he was trying to get to be his publicist while he was locked up. Yeah, he this was, is interesting. Yeah, he was preparing for that. All right, so obviously um, Tia has completely exposed, you know, Rick Ross yeah. at this point. And... Um, it's interesting to me because everybody, when they first saw the video, the first question people said, you think 50 hit that? Do you think 50 hit that? No, no. We weren't intimate. <laughs> All right. So is there anybody that is close enough to you that you feel like they could possibly turn on you in that way? Because, you know. Well, I mean, no. It's not really. I don't see that. You know, anyone around me that actually do that. I think the people that were around that were willing to do things like that were disposed of. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, they, they could have potentially got Buck to do something like that. That why was, That's why it was so important that I removed him the way I did. Right. You know, when you identify with a person having interest in themselves and themselves only, you got to kind of get rid of them. You can't be playing a team player when somebody playing for themselves. Well, what's your relationship now um, with Marquise's mom, your son's mother? I don't have a relationship. So you guys, that's not a concern to you. She would never do something like that, though. It well, seems. I think that, um, like, I, I've done everything possible in that actual situation. So her confirmation, her saying anything about me would just confirm the things that I've been saying to you to begin with. Right. You've exposed it all and put it out there. Right. Like, there's everything that's there. There's nothing else to, to really talk about. I mean, and then to shed light on it would just be for her to create more embarrassment that she was that going the wrong direction that far. You know what I mean? Like, if you go... Just to look at, like, I, I'll tell you the difference between Rick Ross and 50 Cent is I was overpaying child support. Mm -hmm. I filed for myself I to go that. to child support. Yeah, You see what I'm saying? In, in, his, in his case, he doesn't actually want to take responsibility for his child, which is probably more common than someone saying, you know what, you don't understand. Let me take you so they can show you th that I'm giving you more than you're actually supposed to get. And, and her and I actually... It's not registering because she's using information, wrong information, you know, and feeling like she's entitled to 17 percent of whatever I'm earning because New York state law says that. But that only applies to someone who's earning up to seventy thousand dollars a year. Right. Child support is also based on how much the woman makes. Not right, just but if you go, how much it's like make. if you if you make one hundred million dollars a year, you're going to get a kid 17 million dollars a year. Mm. There's no lifestyle. For that, like, there's no way that you can actually fit that into a lifestyle to make that make sense. All right. You know? No, I, I completely get it. But I do appreciate you coming by. I know you have a lot going on. Video game is in stores. Blood on the sand. I'm going to find out some things about you because I never hear too much about your personal relationships, like, yeah. with women and stuff like that. And I have a million questions. But next time, I really want to sit down with you and get into that. Because right. in the past, I've heard some things. <laughs> and I heard some very good things about you, by the way. Yeah? Yeah. So I would, I'd I've like, gotten some I'd be confirmations. I'm interested in hearing those things too, especially now that they're good. I'll let you know. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Shay4550, thank you so much for coming by and hanging with us this morning. It's my pleasure.